First thing to tell you about the construction is uh, we did use two by fours here, except I run them through the table saw and squared off the edges. edges. Hi guys, it's Becca with Samurai Mama and today I have a special guest. These are my folks. My folks have a channel of their own called Gone Again. And today we're gonna be showing you our trailer and my king size bed that my dad and I built together and some other neat tricks about our trailer and how we store it here in our garage. But I'll put his link below to his channel called Gone Again. He has a lot more travel videos, camping videos, and cargo trailer videos. So if that interests you, go check out his channel. Because mm -hmm. I'm gonna show you our bed, our king size fold up bed. I guess uh, some of you might be interested in how we built that. And I also wanted to show you how we park this thing inside our garage because we have a narrow alleyway so we can get it in the garage but not all the way over to the side by driving it in here alone we need a little bit of help from these jacks that we have on the floor so we're going to show you that how we move our trailer around in the garage as well as our bed that we built in the back so stay tuned so we have these jack things that um, we put underneath all four tires and it makes it so that we can move, we can move the trailer over. We have those there and of course the front has this wheel, but sometimes we use a jack, a car jack, a floor jack to put under there to help us move it over. But that's how we're able to get this trailer in here and tucked all the way over to the side. There we go. So we've, we've cleared off the bed so I can show you how it folds up here. Um, this is made with half an inch ply and some two by fours and some door hinges and it's hinged to the wall. These are the hinges here. But the, the weight is supported by a frame that we built against the wall with two by fours. So the weight of the bed is actually dispersed on the floor and is not relying on, on these hinges at all. So I'm going to show you how it folds up here in a second, but let me see if I can get under here. All right, so here's underneath the bed and you can see all that storage that we have. And you can see that what we use for legs is not actual little two by fours or little pieces of wood that drop down. We actually have this half an inch ply that runs the whole width of the bed. And this hinge, this, these are on hinges as well. So when it folds up against the wall, they fold out of the way. And there's that frame I was telling you about that supports the weight. This is a king size bed. This bed has to hold two adults. So we had to make sure that when we built this bed that it was sturdy. We also had to make sure that it was high up off the floor enough to fit our tubs for storage underneath. All right, we're gonna fold it up so I can show you how it works. Okay, so here's the underneath. You can see the frame that we made with two by fours and how this totally goes up against with hinges. Now, we built this bed with the intent that we would be hauling an ATV or my husband's a musician, so we thought we needed to build something that could haul his music equipment if he had gigs out of town. We haven't had to do that we haven't purchased an ATV so we're not using it for that function anymore but it's nice to know that we have the ability to do so if we ever needed to do it but since we decided not to at the moment we've installed the TV on the wall and we've installed some shelves on the wall so this won't go flat up against the wall right now well it also makes it easy to get the uh, storage underneath yes does make it easier for storage underneath. And this bed is pa'a, solid. When we put this down, there's no creaks, there's no giving. It's, it's really sturdy bed. All right, so let's put it back down and you can see how the leg will fall back in its place.
All right, there we go. And what we've also done too, if, um, I don't know if you can see this here, but we have these here to push in between. And we actually have them for here and here, but we took them out so we don't trip over them right now. But you can put braces between if you're worried about th this leg moving side to side. Okay, so this is separate, totally separate from the hinges. This frame is not attached to the bed frame at all. This is a frame that we built up against the wall because when this bed folds down, the surface of this part of the frame meets up with the top of here and that's what distributes the weight all the way across and then down to the floor. So the bed is not being held up by those hinges and yes, it does somewhat rely on, this, on the strength of the wall itself, but it's mostly being held up by the floor. So here's the back of the trailer with the doors open, the door open. My dad is demonstrating our screen curtain. This is especially nice to be able to get to camp and you wanna open up your rig, get some airflow, but you don't want those pesky bugs in your trailer. I think I found this on Amazon. I'll show you under here, under the bed. That's where we store our generator. So this generator fits nicely under there. Well, Mom. Hi, Comet. Good boy, yeah. You're a good boy. Comet's like, are we going camping? Are Isn't we going we camping, it? Rick? Yeah. I think we covered the bed and enough detail and showed you guys the good bones that we have to work with. And that's one thing that we were just talking about is how it, with, when you have a cargo trailer, you have good bones to work with. You, you can feel comfortable in knowing that if you have to rebuild something in your trailer, you can do so without causing too much damage, without having to rebuild framework or anything like that. Not too much anyway. It's just the perfect, perfect little trailer for us. I wanna thank Rick my dad from Gone Again for coming over today and going over the trailer with us. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, please hit like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again on the next one. Bye. You got a flashy light on top? Oh, was it recording this whole time? <laughs> It's recording. That's why it's playing. <laughs> <laughs>